Hi, in this session we are going to discuss about the string type. We are learning about the various data types in uh, TypeScript. In the previous session we learnt about what is a number type and how to handle various numeric values. Now in this session we are going to discuss what is string type, how do we store a string, how do we configure the strings and uh, how do we deal with the strings. Let's see, usually string is a literal with a group of uh, characters enclosed, enclosed in uh, double quotes. We have double quotes in single quotes, in a single quote or in uh, backticks, backtick. So in TypeScript, string is a literal with group of characters enclosed in double, single and backticks. We have to represent the string values by using the string type. So let some str is a, a string type where you can store the values in a double quote. So double quote, so the string what you want to store, you can use a single quote for representing the string. We can use a single quote for representing the string. We can even use a back tick for representing a string. So this is a back tick for representing a string. So what is difference and when to handle these three? Usually when you are uh, defining some string values with inner and outer string combination, then we need to flip between the single and double quotes. So when you are representing a lengthy string and in that some other string values may be defined, in that case you need to flip between these uh, single and double quotes. I will show you that. Suppose here I am representing a string alert and uh, this alert has to display some message as an alert and that message is a string type. Already the outer string is defined in double quotes. Now how you define the inner string? When I try to define inner string again with double quotes then it shows an error and it says that this double quote inside the quote is not accepted. Why? Because when you are representing an inner string, so inner string is defined in single quote and I said hello. This is one way of representing a string within another string. If you are individually dealing with the string, then you can use either single quote or double quote or uh, any back ticks. But when you are dealing with the inner and outer string, then you need to use this mechanism. So this is one way. The outer string is represented with uh, double quotes, inner string is defined with single quote. You can do in another way. Your outer string can be in single quote and alert and uh, your inner string can be in double quote. So say hello, you can define in this way. So you can flip between these inner and outer strings with single and double quotes. If you are representing your string in a single quote and uh, inner string can be defined in double quotes. If your outer string is in double quote, then the inner string is defined in uh, the single quotes. So you need to switch between these two according to representations. Right now in the next point is what is this back tick and what is the purpose of uh, this back tick? So from JavaScript ES5 version onwards, so we have a back tick used for representing strings so that uh, Along with the string, you can enclose an expression and the string expressions are defined in dollar flower brace. So string with expression can be configured by using backticks. For example, we will see the situation without the backtick, how you handle the expressions in a string. So I am declaring here a simple age as a number type and uh, the value 
is 30 and uh, I need to print a message let msg1 it is a string type and the message should say that so next year it will be 30 plus 1 so then uh, you will be and I need to add an expression so the expression you know how to handle the expression with a string you need to concatenate the expression with plus and you need to use a parenthesis for defining the expression here I need to write age plus one again I need to concatenate and I need to represent and continue my string so it says you will be age plus one next year this is how we need to represent a string with expressions in general. Now, what is the advantage of backtick? Let's see. I am defining another string, message two. This is a string, and I am using a backtick. In the backtick, let's handle the same. You will be, you will be, and uh, we need an expression within the string. Then you can directly define the expression by using dollar flower brace and here you can write the expression h plus one and you can continue your string so next year this is how we represent by using backtick so now when you are dealing a string you can simply say that it is a templated form of string a templated form of string contains both the presentation and the logic so along with the presentation you can define the logic so that a string can handle both the presentation as well as logic embedded so usually the string is not embedded above with the expression whereas now we are embedding an expression within a string by using backtick this is introduced into javascript from es5 so that you can handle strings in a better way when you are representing the templated form of strings now when i print these two values say console.log msg1 and console.log msg2 so let's uh, see the output how it uh, looks like so this is a tsc string demo dot ts and uh, node string demo dot js and this is how the both strings will be printed you can observe that so the above string requires some combination of blank spaces to handle the string along with the value returned by an expression but here it can easily handle the expression with space that means it is like a pre-formatted string it presents exactly how you defined along with the expression so this is one important how you represent a string you can use a double quote you can use single quote you can use back tick another important point is while representing the strings some of the special characters in a string representation are not printable and we need to print those non-printable characters while defining the string we will see how to handle those escape sequences in our next session thank you